Welcome, this is Black Lotus, your YouTube script kitty, and this is how to convert a JSON file to CSV using Python. So I have a JSON file that I generated from Makaroo.com. It's a bunch of fake random data. And we'll use Python to convert that into a CSV. So first thing I'm going to need is to import a couple modules, specifically the JSON module and the CSV module. And in my program, I'll also want to specify the file path to the JSON file, so I'm going to need sys at the very least. Okay. And I'll temporarily just call it file path and give it an argiv. And I'll set up a try block for now without defining the function just yet. And uh, I want a file not found error. Okay. And within the char block, I will set up a context manager to open the JSON file. And I'll load in the data, and I'll just call it data. OK. And since the JSON file has been formatted to have the exact same uh, fields uh, that are the exact same keys for each JSON object, I can just take the first JSON object and use the keys for that as my CSV headers. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll declare a variable called headers. I'll grab the first record and just grab the keys from that. Okay. Next I want to uh, set up a CSV file so I'll start another context manager and we'll call this one CSV file and we'll just give it a name, a temporary placeholder name for now, in write mode, and CSV file. And to write to a CSV, we need to set up a writer. So we'll call this writer, csv.writer, and we'll pass in our file name. And the first thing we'll want to do is write the headers. So writer.write row. And we'll pass in the headers. And finally, for each additional record in the JSON file, I want to generate a row based on the record and input that into the CSV file. So for record and data, um, we'll just call it a record and then we'll set up a generator expression. And then write each one of those expressions to the CSV file. Okay. So do it from there. So I want to now define a function and then separate that function from the rest of the program. So we'll set up the separation first. And here I want to, uh, what do I want to do here? I want to make sure that the file name actually exist within the uh, within my computer. So I'm going to move the uh, file arguments down into the act uh, down into the main function here. And I also want to 
pass in to the terminal a csv name as defined within the function. Okay, and since I don't have, uh, no longer have sys above uh, our methods for it, I'll just go ahead and import it down here. I will move the try block as well. And I'll set up the definition up here. So we'll call this JSON to CSV. Pass in the file path and the CSV name. Okay, um, that would work. And one additional thing I'd like to do is to actually check if the file is there and then terminate early. So we'll use pathlib for that. Um, and in, let's see, if an argument is given and is not uh, found, it will or if an argument is not given within sys, it does not raise a file not found error, it will raise a index error. Change this to index error. And we'll go ahead and exit it early. And we'll just say two arguments. What? One JSON path and one save file name. Okay. And if an exception does not occur, we'll check if the file is there. So path live dot path is a has it both a enter and an exit method. So we'll set up a context manager for this one as well. I will say with path lib dot path and we'll pass in the file path. And as, because this would also be JSON file, uh, to make it a little bit easier to distinguish this one from the one in the function, we'll say, we'll just call this one global, this one up here local. And within this context manager, I will say if JSON file global uh, dot is file. And if it is a file, we'll invoke JSON to CSV. Else. We'll go ahead and print out this message down here. Um, and instead of just using a print function, we'll say sys.exit as well. Okay, just double checking to make sure everything looks good. Uh, headers, writer, right there. Okay, that looks good. That should work. Uh, let's give it a go. Send to CSV, so we'll call Python 3. Well, we JSON to CSV.py. Um, we'll specify the file path to the JSON file. And this will be mockdata.json. And then for this one, we'll say, oh, I don't know, test, uh, test from JSON.csv. And it's a syntax error. Ah, cool. 
All right, that ran, and here is the CSV file. I have my headers, and everything looks good. We'll just double check. Uh, the first actual record is from the fictional character Daisy Dilgru, and the last one will be Berta Caselas. And we'll go back to the mock data just to make sure. Daisy Delru. And if we scroll all the way down, Berta Caselas. So that did work. Okay, that's uh, how to convert a CS uh, or JSON file to a CSV. Uh, here is the code. Uh, thank you, and I uh, hope you got something out of it.